Asit. Hi. What does that mean? Mysterious treehouse. Exactly. Do it one line at a time. Oni no hon or non the ska or yon this yon de te yon da te yon da ta yon da ta no. If this is hard to say, you could say I'm yon de ita. But theoretically, hmm. that's what this is. Uh, she just said she slurred it, and since they're talking, they decided to show that yon de ta rather than yon de yon ita. De ta. Do you remember what that means? So, Oni chan, big brother, nan no hon o yondeta. So, what book uh, yondeta are you reading? I'm guess because yon... it's are you reading, but then past tense with the ta. Oh, the ta. Hi. So, what book were you reading? So, specifically, she's referring to um, earlier, they're at a toshokan, which was um, a library. So she's like, oh, what book were you reading? Um, so next is this guy. Imoto no ani ga skip shinagara shinagara. And then Jack ni kita. Kita. No, you're right. Kita. Not kita. Kita. The first time I was right. It's important to say these long when they're long. <laughs> yeah. So, Imoto no Ani ga. So, the little sister is Ani. Mm -hmm. Skip Shinagara. So, then Jaku ni Kita. So, after skipping, no, or while skipping, yes. Jaku ni Kita. So, Jack was listening while skipping. Close. So, this is one you keep on getting confused about because Kita doesn't just have the meaning of listening. Do you remember what the second meaning of kiku is? Kiku, to ask or to hear. Yes. So in this context, it's to ask. And ni, do you know what it's doing? Jack ni kita. Or sorry, yeah, kita. So the person who's receiving the question is Jack. Yes. Ni is kind of like a direction word. So since to ask the person doing that asking is Annie, who is the subject of the sentence, and ni to Jack is telling us it's toward Jack. Ni tends to be a direction of something is happening too. Uh, we'll see an example of that in our next sentence. Can you read it? Yep. Uh, orange no taiyo ga nishi no Sora ni ka tamui, ya tamui teiru. It's actually katamui teiru, the, the word split ups over here, which is the confusing oh. part about reading things in um, audio books. I mean, Kindle books. <laughs> Hi. So, orange iro no taiyo. So, the sun's color is orange. Exactly. Nishi no sora. What's that? So the sky is west. Yes. Interestingly. So specifically, it's the west area of the sky. Basically, there's a there's a sun. So you know, if you're looking at a horizon, you're like, oh, there's the sun. It's over there, uh, in the west so sky part of the sky, Nishi no Sora. So the other parts are like, I don't know, Higashi no Sora. Like, there's nothing over there, probably. Maybe you can see the moon mm. up in the sky. Um, so right here, we see another ni. Do you know what I told mm. you what ni kind of means? It's like a directional particle. Yes. So the sun, in the direction of the west, it is kata muiteru. Do you vaguely remember what that word meant? Kata, kata muiteru. Kata, kata muiteru. Mm -mm -mm. I remember, was it the dropping thing? So like, it's sinking? Yeah, or? it is one of the many ways to say it's sinking. It's more like the it's setting version of it, I think. Because uh, we do get a super sinking one later on. So the sun is set in, setting in the um, west sky. Nice. So now we're going to figure out where are we? Doko de Shoka. Koko wa 
アメリカのペンシルベニア市を。州。Interesting. あ、州。<笑>はい。<笑> so this is アメリカのペンシルベニア州。The city of Pennsylvania in America. Basically, shoe theoretically is a state, but weird words. The、mm-hmm. town they're in, though, is our next sentence, which is kind of confusing because it goes over there and it continues over there.、Mm-hmm. Uh, Jack and Annie were a Fukotsukeru Frog? Yes. Creek. <laughs> ah, Frog Creek. Okay. Frog Creek. Ah, Doyo Mara no. To you, Machino. Hi. To you, Machino. Hi. Ah, Shogaku say t h Exactly. You know what to you is doing here? Krogu Creek to you, Machi. Frog Creek to you, Machi. To you. To you, Machi. So, like. Uh, an area or like a block called Frog Creek, maybe a town、exactly. called Frog Creek. So, exactly, it's a town called、uh, Frog Creek. Yep, Toyu is used for titles of things. So, yeah, Machi is a normal way to say town.、Uh, machi with a different kanji can like refer to how big a town is. So, if it was Machi with this kanji,、uh, that would insinuate that it's a pretty big town. Like compared、mm. to this one. So they're saying she lives like they're like in a rural town, basically, to the extent that perhaps、uh, if this was Japan, they might have like the rice paddies fields nearby. Kind of.、Mm. Well, they're small town folk rather than big town folk. <laughs> <laughs> And then we have the shogakse right here. So it says, Frog Creek to you, Machi no shogakse da. Hi. What, what do you think? This means so Jack and Annie、mm-hmm. Frog Creek Toy Machi in the town of Frog Creek、mm. are Shogakse, which is like kindergarten students. Exactly. Perfect. And how about this guy? Futari wa Toshio kan no Kairi Michi Micha Micha da. Michidatta. Michidatta. Hi. Ah, Futari or Futari. So two. Hmm. Taishokan libraries no kairi. So the return to the library, which is in the town. That is a good guess. So kairi、um, is from kairu. Kairu. And do you remember I told you that was different than modoru and、um, kaeru with? Well, I'll just do modoru for now. Do you remember how I told you these were different words? Like they, ha- they, they refer to different things. Kaeru, modoru.、Um, if they were kaeruing to the toshokan, would that, what, what would the extra meaning would that toshokan gain then in that hypothetical situation? That would mean they went to the. Library, but they didn't come back.、Uh, it would actually mean that they live in the library. <laughs> oh, wow. If you use kairi,、ah. uh, kairi mi, the toshoka n o kairi michi, meaning to、uh, <coughs> the library, would insinuate they live in the library. But instead, for what you were looking for, that'd be more like modoru, which is to return to the library as you've been there before, but you're coming back to it. So kairi tends to be used really just for like. Coming back home, kind of. So, because of this, we have kairi michi, which is road returning home. So, the retur- road of returning home from the library is basically what this is saying. So, this is, this is what told us they were at the library earlier. And that specifically, the, the street they're going home from、uh, it starts where the library was, and their home is somewhere on their destination. So, Toshika no Kaeri Michi. So,、mm. it's definitely possible for it to be like, Gakko, Gakko no Kaeri Michi would be returning home from school. 
just taking that same like grammar thing. So it's the path home that basically the path begins with what's before it. Yeah, there's no real reason why I have to do that. It's mostly just because kaidi has that meaning of going home. Right. Next is this part. Kyoryu no hon. Hon? Hon da yo. Hon da yo. Mikare o osai or ochai. Ochai nagara. Jack ga itta. Me. Mega? Mega ah, Megane. Yep, Megane. Yes. I don't know got Megane. <laughs> oh, there, ne, do you look? <laughs> yes. Megane o osai nagara, Jack ga itta. Oh, kyoryu, uh, kyoryu no hon da yo. What does this mean? Kyoryu no hon da yo. Kyoryu. Sounds very familiar. So, yeah. something's book. Kyoryu. A book about something. Hmm. Hmm. A big monster. Close. What is a big monster? Dinosaur. Yes, exactly. Mm. Um, and then we have megane and osai. What does that mean? Megane is glasses, osai. Very familiar. Mm. Osai. Do you wear glasses? Hi. Yes. What's something that you feel like you have to do often when you wear glasses, especially if you did some kind of like physical activity, maybe? <laughs> Osai, osu. Oh, so like push it yes, <clears throat> lightly. Exactly, osu, the push lightly. So, osoi nagara, Jack ga itta. So, Jack said that while pushing his glasses. It's a book, of, mm. it's, a, it's a dragon book. I mean, dinosaur book. Ah. <laughs> it's just do by itself is dragon. <laughs> it's a dinosaur book. Um, And then, what does he proceed to say? Uh, Eguaton. Eguaton. Mm -hmm. Eguaton. You don't need to think so, too hard. They're just dinosaur names. Yep. Uh, Sutagosa o Sutagosa o su, Kyoryu no Oja. Oja. Tai Rai. Tai Rhinosaurus. Tranosaurus. Got it. Sorekara ano jitai ni wa sora o tobu yokuryu tsutei no moi danda. This right here is a small suit. So it's te yu no mono o no mo ita. So, uh, I don't know. That part's a little hard. Do you know what kyoryu no oja means? The king of dinosaurs. Exactly. Then we have sore kara ano jidai ni wa. What does that mean? Uh, sore kara ano jidai ni wa. Uh, during that era. Exactly. How about the sore kara? Sore kara is like after that, I think. Yes. Um, in this case, he's like, oh, in this case, it's kind of like not only that. It's kind of the meaning of it in this context. So not only... Is, does this book talk about this dinosaur, that dinosaur, then the king of dinosaurs? There's also during that same time period, a uh, dinosaur like in Sora o Tobu. What does that mean? Sora o Tobu. So fly o Tobu. Or sorry, Sora sky. So sky o fly. Exactly. So flying in the sky. Exactly. So right over here, we have te iu. This <coughs> has the same meaning of to iu that we saw earlier. So what do you think is uh, yoko ryu to iu, uh, kyo ryu means to you, kyo ryu. What do you think that means? Mm. Yoko ryu, to ryu. So like the dinosaur has just went back to some place not really told you we saw it earlier um i'll underline it on this <coughs> page that was um mm. and over here we have yokoryu toyu kyoryu so it's like the subject of the book kind of 
Mm, it's not really about, I mean, the book is about dinosaurs, um, but this, this sentence has nothing to do, this phrase that I'm trying to focus on, yoku ryu to yu kyo ryu, that, that, that you, can, you can ignore anything else. It's, it's a phrase that on its own has a meaning. And it's the same <laughs> grammar as Frogu Kuriku to you Machi. Do you remember what the Frogu Kuriku to you Machi meant? It's the town of Frog Creek. Close. So, so of works great like that in English. But this actually means it's the city that is called Frog Creek. To you. So to is a quotation marker. So, um, and you means to say. So it's like saying um, the city that people call Frog Creek and you put Frog Creek in quotation marks is kind of how mm. it works. So over here we have Yokoryu, they even put it in quotation marks for you as well. And it says to you, Kyoryu. And you remember what Kyoryu meant? A dinosaur. Yes, so we have a dinosaur that is Toyu Yokuryu. So a dinosaur which is called Yokuryu. Exactly, that is what it's saying. Um, and then it just it got slurred a bit because um, he's talking out loud. It's not like writing. And then we have this no right here, and then mo. So this mo is a particle. Do you know what this no is doing right here? No mo. Mm. No. So it makes some subject which should mm -hmm. be obvious. Exactly. That is exactly what it's doing. It's used to, because it, it's like saying it in English or they. It's a way to just take something that's already been defined, the subject, which is dinosaurs, and just saying, using no, because the context, you know what we're talking about. We're, we're, I listed five different di dinosaurs. So obviously, Yoko Ryu is also a dinosaur. Perfect. Um, so now you got that. What does yokuryu de yu no mo itanda? What does that mean? Yokuryu ite or itu itu? De yu. De yu. Hai. Yokuryu de yu no mo itanda. So the dinosaur mm -hmm. called yokuryu. Yes. Moitanda. Mm. Anujitai ni. So in that era, it was called a dinosaur? <laughs> um, <laughs> eh? In that era, there was also a dinosaur called Yokuryu. It's kind of how we would probably say it um, in English. So Ita, right over here, has the meaning of to have existed. Iru is to exist and Ita is to have existed in the past. So currently, there's no dinosaur that can fly in our sky called Yokuryu. However, in the past, there was a dinosaur called Yokuryu, and it had the ability to fly. That's what that's saying. Anojitai. Back then, um, the dinosaur Yokuryu, who's able to fly in the sky, um, he existed. Um, okay, now we're at this guy. Chuck wa mo sugu kyo sai. Kyo sai. Kyo sai, hi. So Chuck is almost kyo sai, which is nine years old. Therefore, Perfect. he's eight years old. So I'm going to read the next sentence since it's kind of hard to read. Um, Hono yondari. So that is, um, uh, he is a boy. That part right there has been insinuated by context. Jack. Um, Jack is a boy who enjoys reading books and observing nature. Well, loves it anyway. Do, do, do. And here we go. Mm-hmm. 
、あ、兄が叫んだ。うん、突然、兄が叫んだ。突然、突然、バンふとという。兄が叫んだ。Like, of course, Annie, something. <laughs> But so, that's not right. I'll show you the kanji. 叫んだ。Has this kanji right here? That does, does part of it look a little familiar?、Oh. Uh, it's got the kanji of mouth, kind of. It does have the kanji of mouth inside of it. So, sakenda means to yell or to scream.、Mm. Very loud noise. So, totsuzen actually means suddenly. Suddenly, any screams or screamed, past tense.、Uh, Let's see, what does she scream? Oni chan, o shiro ni kaijo ugairu. Oni chan, o shiro ni kaiju gairu. Ushiro. Ushiro, which is like soba, I think. It's behind you. Yes, exactly. Behind you, big brother. Kaiju gairu. What is a kaiju? Kaiju is a big monster. Exactly. How about iru? What does that mean? Iru. Yes. Iru exists. Yep. So in this case, you can say there is, has the same meaning as it exists. There is. What if it said ita? What if it said that instead of iru? Ita. So it existed. Yes. There was a dinosaur. Not there anymore, though, but、mm. you should turn around and look anyway. Maybe there's a footprint. Nice. So now we get to learn about Annie. What kind of person is her? Annie wa nana sai. Annie is seven years old.、Mm-hmm. Kyo ryu no namai o obai ru yori. Oh, yori is a different word. So, obai ru yori. Oboe ru bo. Oboe ru. Oboe ru yori. Kusu. Kusu. Kusu no. Kusu no. Sekai de Asobua, Osobua, Osobu, Osobu, Ho, Ugatana, Uga, Tanoshi, Uga, Tanoshi. I'm a little confused right there because this is actually Ho, which is a long Ho. So that U right there is actually connected to the Ho. It extends it. It extends it, yes.、Yeah. ほうがたのしい。あにわななさい。You did that already? So, 恐竜の名前を覚える。What does that part mean? 恐竜の名前を覚える。So, the name of the dinosaur、mm-hmm. had to be, or I'll study the name of the dinosaur. Exactly. To put to memorizing. So, that right there、mm-hmm. is item one. And we're using yori. Yori. And then we have kuso, kuso no sekai de asobu. What does that part mean? Kuso no sekai de asobu. So in the fantasy world,、mm-hmm. or fantasy world, kuso no sekai asobu to play. Exactly. And now it there gets ho, which is means it the second item. So we have two items here remembering names of dinosaurs and playing in fantasy worlds. And for Annie, One of these is more tanoshi. Which one do you think it is? Yori. So that means the first <laughs> is the most fun. So you think Annie thinks it's really fun to、um, remember the <laughs> dinosaurs? Probably not. That's easy. So,、huh. Yeah. So the so first、yori. is less than the second. Yeah. So this has to do with.、Um, Like how languages tend to work. Like, this is like a weird, like, I don't know, it's a culture thing maybe. But in, in English, we want to say whole. Like, we really like that whole part. We want to say, oh, he likes playing this more than that. That's how we want to say things in English. In Japanese, they want to say it the opposite way. They really want to say, he likes le- this less than everything else. He, he <laughs> like, so she thinks. 
learning um memorizing dinosaur names is less fun than um playing in fantasy worlds so but in english we really want to do the opposite for, for just like we want it's the other one which is very interesting i think but yeah yori is the less than while whole pretending is the ooh there is the more than part um so okay now we're at what does jack say uh doni doko ni hai doko ni kaiju ga irun da yo jack wa unzari unzari shite ita yes ita Ita. We've seen that ita quite a bit. It's been seen as iu in certain things like toyu. Mm. And then frog uh, creek to you machi or yokuryu to you kyoryu. That's the same. Ita no you. What does that mean? You. Uh, to say or to utter. Exactly. So ita, the past tense version of that. So jakua ita. What does that mean? Jack said. Yes. And what did he say? Doko ni kaiju ga irun da yo. Doko ni. So. This place, kaiju ga irun da yo. So, a dinosaur used to uh, be in this place, or dinosaur used to stay. Yes. So, you want to kind of break this up for a little bit smaller. Do you know what doko is? Doko desu ka? Doko. Oh, doko. Where? Doko. Yes. Yeah. So, doko ni. So, at what location? This ni is like a direction turn. So, at some location. Kaiju ga iru. Do you remember iru, what that meant? It was different than ita, intense. Yes, I exist or yes. is. So a kaiju is currently existing where is that part? Doko ni kaiju ga iru. Where does the dinosaur exist? Mm. Um, there's no, um, so that, that's what that part means. Uh, kaiju theoretically is big monster, but like we know that. Um, then he has ndayo, which changes the meaning of this just slightly. Do you know what it's doing here? It has to do with the uh, ndari part of this. Ndayo. The yo part probably makes it rhetorical. Yes. The ndayo, um, it all together basically makes it uh, rhetorical. Uh, mm. If you just say doko ni kaiju ga iru yo, that it feels like too aggressive. Ndayo is kind of Where is he? It a little bit. Um, and it's also kind of used for discovering new things, kind of like, oh. So he's like, where is the dinosaur? And he says it in an unzari kind of way. What does unzari mean? Unzari. Sounds very familiar. Yeah. Um, How do you think a, a brother would? Would talk to their little sister. Doko ni kaiju ga irun da yo. A lazy, fed up type way. Yeah, it's it's fed up exactly. And how does Annie respond to that? Uh, hora, oi kakete ku mori ka mori eka mori eka. Yes, mori eka. Uh, yep. Ah, so, okay, that makes more sense. Kakure nakia. Ah, kyo so yo. Kyo so yo. You remember kyo so? Kyo so. Kyo so. It's the only time it's used in this book. It has to do with hashiru, if you know remember what that means. Hashiru. So it's like to sprint. Close. It means to have a race. It's a competition. Mm. Shobu kyo so yo. The yo makes it into um it's like it's with like a the 
exclamation point mark. It's a race. Kyoso yo. Eto, how about Hora oi kakete kuru? What does that mean? Hora oi kakete She's talking about the kaiju in case. Mm. Like in chido position earlier. But now it's oi kakete kuru. Like, look, or like, hey, mm-hmm. oi kake. Oi kakeru. Oh, that breaks it better, I guess. <laughs> Kuru to come. Exactly. Oi kakete. In our direction. So the, the, the kuru part is in our direction. The oi kakete part means to chase. So this actually means it's chasing at it's chasing us basically, or it's coming at us. Might be how we'd say it in English. Look, it's coming at us, coming straight for us. But it's assuming hmm. it's here to chase us, not just like wandering and like, oops, it just happened to be in our direction. Instead, it's like, I am the kaiju and you are my my uh, destination. I will capture you. Um, after that, she says, Morie. Kakure nakya. Do you know what that means? Mori e kakure nakya. E is so very mori. similar to ni, which has to do with what? What does ni do? Ni is the directional particle. Exactly. So you could say mori ni kakure nakya. The meaning has not changed. But they use e because um, it gives flavor to your sentences. By not using me 20,000 times. Yeah. Same in English, you know, you'll use other things just because you don't want to use the same thing 20,000 times. So, yeah, Morie, kakure na kya. Do you know what kakureru means? Kakeru. It's a famous da- game that children love to play. Kakurenbo. Hide and seek. Exactly. So, what does kakure na kya mean then? Mm-mm. Kakure plus nakya. Kakure nakya. So hide and seek plus nakya. Well, what is uh, ka- morie kakure do? Let's just focus that. Uh, to hide in the forest. Exactly. So nakya part of here just means you must. So kake, ka- uh, kakure nakya means we must do this. We have no choice but to hide in the forest because there's a monster coming at us, trying to chase us. It's a race. Now, what does Annie do right after she says that? Nice. Mm-hmm. Nice. Here's that you again. You know what that meant? You to speak. Basically. Exactly. So we have so you to. What do you think that means? So you to. So like I said something and then after that something. Perfect. Ani wa hitori de mori no hou e hashite itte shimatta. So you could just say right here Mori no morie. You could you could just say that. The whole doesn't really add much to this sentence. What does this mean? Ani wa hitori de mori e hashite ishite shimatta. So basically, like suddenly run towards the forest alone. Basically, um, that's basically what it's saying. How do what does this make Jack feel? When this happened, uh, shimatta. So, like, damn. Yep. <laughs> yep. She it's just like, ran no. straight in the forest and in an itte kind of way. So, I can't really see her anymore. She, she went away. I'm not going with her. Um, do you have any idea what the noho part of this means? Noho. Uh, uh, uh. Noho. Specifically, it's whole, but the uh, no is being used as a connector to mori. Mori. Mori no ho. So like the forest whole. And what is ho? So ho just means direction. 
So it ah. just basically, it's not saying if she actually entered the forest or not, but we do know she went toward the forest. Perhaps she jumped in a hole right before the forest, like in Alice in Wonderland or something, and poof, disappeared. Can't see her either way. <laughs> just in that direction. So we don't know if she actually ran to the forest, but I mean, into, if she ran into the forest, which is what she would have said here, hide in the forest. But she went toward that direction as she was running. Now we have um, a, a random description of the current time. Let's see, what, what does it say? Yuhi ga mori no mukou ni shizemi. I should slow that down. Mukou ni shizemi. Shizumi? Yep. Shizumi. Hojimete iru. Hajimete iru. Yeah, it's kind of confusing. I put the dot there, but it's like it's a compound word. So Shizumi is from uh, Shizumu would be the dictionary form of that word. And this one right here was actually what you talked about before, what katamuiteru meant. Kata, ka, katamuiteru was the word that you gave the Shizumi mm. no, definition to. Katamuiteru. Uh, muko has the opposite meaning of hole. So it's kind of fun to have no hole and no muko. Muko. So yuhi ga yuhi uh, in the evening. Yes. Mori no muko ni. So the opposite direction of the forest. Exactly. The yuhi. She's so yuhi doesn't exactly mean evening. It's sun mm -hmm. of evening. So evening sun. Sun of evening? Yep. Oh, yeah, the orange light bit. Yes. Hi. So uh, what is this knee doing right here? Directional. So muri no muko, the opposite direction of the sun. Yes. Uh, uh, of, of the forest. Opposite direction of, of the, the forest. forest. Sorry, not the sun. Yeah. The uh, sun is doing shizumi hajimeru. Shizumi hajimeru. So it's sinking. It's like exactly. dropping down. So that's why katamuiteru is like less aggressive than shizumi. So it's the starting the set is katamuiteru, but shizumi is when it's like actually like starting to sink. So it's just mm. a different position. So this right here, katamuiteru, this one right there is the shizu, shizumi hajimeru. So it's starting to sink below the horizon line is kind of how you can think about it. Because Shizumu actually means sinking. If you sink in the ocean, Shizumu is also used. It's the same okay. exact word, just like in English. Well, Katamuiteru actually means to lean. So it's like if you had a sundial out and how like the, the sun would like theoretically be pulling... <laughs> it made sense in my head but that might not actually make sense but like the sun is like if you made like a stick and you wanted to like aim it at where the sun is I guess so the stick starts the leaning a lot when the sun is beginning the set so like when it's noon you know the stick would be straight up Hi. yeah <laughs> mm. well that, that's where that logic comes from so very different than English the katamuiteru I think um so here we go. What did Jack say? Oops, I just covered that. Here we go. Deep. Mosugu. Mosugu. Higaku. Bechai yo. Cha yo. Jack wa. Shin. Shinpoi ni. Shinpai ni. Natte kita. Perfect. So he got kuderu. You could guess what this means by context. What has the sun been doing this whole time? It has been kureru. Mm. kureru. So this is kind of like um after it shizumus, then he got kureru. So this is happens related? to really occur first. So this after this, this happens. Ah, so it's like first and then second. Yeah, uh, katamuteru might be like at level zero. 
<laughs> so higa kuridu means to grow dark. The the day, the he has like left, maybe has gone dark. Kuridu. The day has come. Not sure what could it do on its own. Okay. It's like yeah. sun dark or sun black. Yes. So of. he can mean sun, but it can also mean day. So that's why you, he is kind of confusing. Is that evening day or evening sun? Um, so the sun darkens, but it's probably more like the day uh, leaves. But yeah, could it do means to grow dark or the end of the day has um, come. So mo sugu, mm. what does that mean? Mo sugu. So mo sugu. Mo sugu. So mo sugu, he came after you or no? Like almost, not almost. Yeah. Mo sugu. No, almost is correct. It, But it's mm. more like time than, than almost. So it's more like the time version of that, which is soon. So right now, ima is uh shizumi hajimeru so right now the sun has started to sink so we're not seeing a full round sun right now we're seeing a sun that's starting to actually sink into like the horizon line so because of that mo sugu really soon it's gonna get dark Higa kureru. so currently there's still light out the sun is making the pretty sunset colors it's bright orange or whatever but soon, because the sun's setting, it's going to get dark. Do you know what the chow right here means? Chow. Chow means like a brown, tiny color. That is actually correct. Cha. Like a uh, cha iro. Cha iro. Hai. Iro means brown. How about chow right over here is actually the slurred version of shimao, as in shimatta. That we mm. saw, which means oops. So Oops. basically, Jack, you know, is not happy about this. He has shimpai ni natte kita. What does that mean? Shimpai ni natte kita. So shimpai is worry and then ni. Natte kita. His emotions uh, have come toward the point of reaching shimpai. So his emotions are shimpai. He's yeah. worried. He's worried. So obviously he's not happy about the sun setting right now. Her his little sister Annie had just ran off into the woods and they're supposed to be going home right now. Choto shinpai desu ne. So he's he's not happy. Oh, the, the sun's going to completely set. It's going to get totally dark. This is going to suck. I don't want to go home in the dark, says Jack. Shinpai ni natta. Uh so what happens next? <laughs> Ani, mo kairo, shibaraku, matte mo, ani wa modoite ni nai, modotte nai. Yeah. Perfect. So first off, kairo. Have you seen that kanji before? Kairo. 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 Oh, so like. Ani, let's return home already. Exactly. Perfect. And then we have something the, the narrator is telling us. Shibaraku matte mo ani wa odotte konai. You want shibaraku? After a while. Yeah. And matte mo? To wait. How about what's the mo adding to this? Uh, matte mo. Lots uh, of well, temo for grammar. But temo. The form plus mo is what it is. Demo. Sometimes it looks like demo, but it doesn't mean but. Demo. Not but. Not this guy. But it does look Not like demo. demo. For example, um, yon demo. Uh, wakaranai is something I feel like many college students would feel that. Yon demo wakaranai. <laughs> so, uh, mm -hmm. oh. You don't understand this book. <laughs> yeah, even though I read it, I don't understand. <laughs> so demo is a even though kind of meaning. So even, even it's an if 
thing. So if he decided to wait for a long period of time, it doesn't matter. Any, he will modote konai. What does that mean? Modote konai. So, konai is, is the negative form of kuru. She won't come. Exactly. He won't return. And you see how he's come. using modoru right here, telling us that the location where he is standing is not his house. Very important information. <laughs> you know, because he's on the kairi michi, he's on the, the road home. So, modote is being used. So, she won't come back. Eto. Annie! Oh, now we're at the next page. Boop, boop, boop. Suddenly, what happens? What's that say? Annie, suru to. Annie, no. Goi, gakai, gakai? Gakai, dachi. Now, this right here is the kaidu I told you that had a different kanji that I vaguely mentioned. So, this right here is going home, and now we have a different kaidu that has this kanji. They're related in the same way modoru is related. So, there are different ways to refer to what kind of action. So in English, these would all have the same meaning, but in Japanese, they're all different. Hmm. Kairu, kairu, and modoru. Kairu, to return to your home. Modoru is just to return to a place. So the other kairu would be so to return. are similar, but who's doing the returning? Uh, uh, uh. Kairu would be the subject but so should Modoru. Um, so one of them is a who, and the other one is a what. Mm. So kairu, this one is used for what, such as a koe. And koe. modoru ah. is used for whose. So modoru was used with ani in the last sentence. Ani wa modote konai. But now her koe, koe ga kaite, kairu. What does koe mean? Uh, voice exactly. So, what does suruto ani no koe ga kaite kita? Suruto. So, ani's voice has returned exactly. The suruto is just kind of like an and then kind of word. The action happened and this. So, the suru is referring to Jack yelling, Ani, Ani. Um, so anyway, mm. what was recorded inside of Annie's voice. What returned? Annie-chan, uh, chotto, chotto kite, kite. Yeah. So this kite is very similar to the kuru we've seen before, but it's on its own. Uh, so big brother, mm -hmm. chotto ku. Uh, please, well, not please, but <laughs> wait a bit, kind of. Close. Like, choto means later. a bit. So choto can mean like just on its own, like wait a bit. However, kite has a very important meaning. Kite. Do you know what kuru meant? Kuru is to come. Yes. So kite is the same thing. It means to come. Uh, it's, the, it's just te form. And te form on its own, if you just have te form and there's nothing after it, this turns into an order. So, onichan, totokite means big brother, come here, come here a little bit. Just a little bit, come here. Mm. Uh, so, in an unzari like way, what does Jack do? Jack wa yore, yare, yare to. Some kanji omoina. Is that right? Can't really see it. Yep, sorry. Omoinagara. <laughs> omoinagara. Mori no naka e. Yep. Haiteita. Perfect. Haiteita. Do you know what this e is doing? It's like a directional particle. Exactly. Kind of like... Perfect. Jack wa yare yare. 
。と思いながら。Grief. Good grief. と思いな,ながら。えー、ながら means after、mm. a while, I think. Yes, it's a while. After a while. <laughs> no, just after a while. It was like no, getting. Just a while. Just during.、Oh. Nagara. Do you know what omoi、mm. means? Is he saying yada yada out loud? Omoi. Omoi. Is he saying omoi. Yada, yada or is he doing something else? Omoi. Doesn't that mean heavy? Or am I thinking of a different word? Oh,、uh, omo. Omo. So omoi, you're right, can mean heavy. Here's that kanji for you. Omoi.、Um, but this right here is a verb, which is omo or omoi mas. So you're not wrong. Omoi mas. But that's, that's the beautiful thing about kanji, is that it helps、kanji. us not make those mistakes. So you have omo, omoi mas. It is very similar to kangairu in that in English they have the same meaning, but in Japanese they do not have the same meaning. Kangairu. Here. So, like in your head, subconsciously? Yes. You exactly. yada yada? That is what it means. Perfect.、Mm. So, omoimas means to think, and kangaidu also means to think. The difference is that kangaidu is like using your brain to think, and omo is just what your brain does like automatically. If that makes kind of sense? Yeah. <laughs> so, if you're doing that, you can come to it. Perfect. And how about Mori no Nakae? Haite ita. Mori no Nakae, haite ita. So, entering the forest. Exactly. Jack, enter the forest. Perfect. And he's left the narrator behind, but the narrator can tell. So, it's all good. And now we're getting another setting sentence. What does it say? Uh, kino, kino waga. Kino haga. Kino haga. Yes. Kino haga. Yuhi o abite, uh, abite kinro ni kaga yate iru. So, what does ni mean? It's a direction. So, it is a direction. So, in this case, it's actually more the way in which something is doing kaga yaku. Do you know what kaga yaku means? Sounds familiar. Has to do with hikari. You know what that means? Hikari. Hikari. That also sounds familiar. Yeah, it's a very. Hikari means light and kagayaku means to glitter or to shine.、Uh. So the way in which this is shining, it's in a gi nido kind of way. What kind of color is gi nido? Gi nido. Gi nido. So gold color. Exactly. So, how did the kinoha glitter in a gin iro no way? Yuhi o abete agite. So, like, kind of, how do I explain that? It's like showered in the sun.、Exactly. Or not showered, but like, um it, it, it soaked up kind of. Like, even though、kind、it's really soaking, it's, it's basking in the evening light, glittering in a golden way. What does kinoha mean? What, what is glittering? Kinoha. So, ki, the shrub, or no, the tree. The tree.、No、ha. ha. What, do ha was. what do trees mean? A branch. Close. What's on a branch? A leaf. Exactly. Kinoha. The leaves of the trees. Uh, soaked up the evening sun and glittered in, glittered in the evening while basking in the evening light. <laughs> I guess. So it probably rained the other day. <laughs> and then what does Annie yell out? Come on, big brother, quickly. Exactly. And then we see Annie. We've managed to make it here. Good job. Us, the narrator. <laughs> okay, what happens? What do we see? Annie, what? 
大きなカツの木の下に立っていた。Easy mistake to make. This is Kashi, which is an evergreen tree. Kashi. So, Uki na Kashi. Uki na. Uki or Oki. Uki na. Like a big evergreen tree. Exactly. Shita ni. Shita is under ni daite ta. Are there two words or is that just one word? Um, so, tate ita is basically one word.、Um, tate is the word and ita is the tense. Tate ita. So, it's from tatsu. So, standing up. Yes. So, standing. And then, do you remember what ni means? Ni.、Uh, so, could mean the direction. It is the direction is in this case. So she's standing basically at Shita. What does Shita mean?、Oh, there's a line and it's something under it. Yes. Under. It does. So she is standing under a, a key. A tree. Yes. And who's doing this? Ani. Exactly. Um, what so Annie is standing underneath a humongous evergreen tree. What if, hypothetically, this is Oki Kashi no Shi no Shita ni Tateta? What if it said that? What would the how would the meaning change? What is big? What is big? The tree. So with oki na, what's big is the kashi. But with oki, what is big would be the shita, which means below. So because of、mm. that, we can't really say oki in this context. <laughs> it stops having meaning. And this is important to po- point out because later on we, we see this、um, grammar being used in a later sentence. Um, that had to do with, if you vaguely remember, square trees versus square huts. Ito, so here we are over here now. Hora, kore mite, ani ga yubi sashi, yubi sashi te iru no wa, ipon no nawabashi go datta. Yes. Do you remember what a nawabashi go was? A rope ladder. Exactly. So, what does that say? What does this say? Hora, kore mite. Mite, mite. It's like, hey, look. Yep. Ani ga yubi sashite. Ah, yubi sashite. Yubi gar has to do with your te. What are yubis? Ah,、uh, yubi.、Uh, evening something. Something to do with evening.、Uh, the kan- kanji makes a big difference. Do you know what a yubi is? So, this right、uh, here, yeah, I just this? Put my hand. Yubis are these little things that come off your hand, and you have five of them. Well, so, like nails?、Uh, <laughs> they're fingers. Oh, so the, okay, yeah. Yubi、fingers. on its own, if it just on its own, yubi means finger.、Um, yubi sasu, which is what's going on here, yubi sashite, means to point. So, Annie ga yubi sashite iru no wa, the thing of, of which Annie was pointing at, the no, if you remember that from before, is, used, is being used to mean the thing. <laughs> the thing、In、being context,、yeah. by Annie was ippo no nawabashi go. One rope ladder. Exactly. And、uh, what does this person. Scream out. Probably Jack. Wow. Nante Nakai Nawabashi go na Nanda. Nice. So, whoa, what a big rope ladder, or what a long rope ladder. Perfect. So, our context is the long rope ladder. So, let's、mm. read this little paragraph about this. So, there was Jack no Atama no. Uh, Haruka, Ue, Ida, 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 Ida
枝が二つに分かれ、分かれているところまで、あ、つついている。Perfect. So,、うん、逆の頭のはるか上。What does that part mean? 逆の頭のはるか上。So, Jack's head. Yes. What is u e on top? Toto c h i g a If it was Atama no u e if it was、um, uh, could you tell me what, you're, what you said before? Just like as, as so I can like make a, Jap- a Japanese phrase for it. Uh, Jack's head was on top. Jack's head was on top. So for Jack's head to be on top, that'd be ue no atama, basically. But we we're at atama no ue. So we have the opposite、um, direction. So this is、um, it's not that his head is on top, it's that something is above his head.、Mm-hmm. So like teburu no ue would be on top of the table. Table no ue wa. There's a head on top of the table. So, Jack no atama no haruka ue. Haruka means far away. So, far above Jack's head is what that says. So, what?、Uh, so, sore wa. What is sore wa referring to? Do you remember? Sore wa is referring to the rope ladder. Yes. So, the rope ladder. Is to z u i t e r u What does that mean? To move forward. Close. It just means、mm-hmm. continues.、Um, mm-hmm. Susumu, susumu is the one that has the meaning of move forward. That is so interesting that if you do susumu and you do space, it gives you a triangle. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> Very <laughs> cool. Sarah right there. Oh, that's so interesting. Never knew that.、Um, so, Susumu.、Uh, Tuzuiteru just means continue. So, in certain contexts, it definitely means to continue on forward. But in this case, the rope ladder is continuing. Jack no atama no haruka ue. What does that mean?、Uh, so, tututu atama no haruka ue. Far on top of Jack's head. Yes. The rope ladder is continuing to, to far above Jack's head. Perfect. So, is it just going on and on and on and on until it reaches space? Probably not. So, because、Probably、of that,、not. we added this phrase right here to just let us know that yes, it's not going all the way up to space. There is an end. There is a made. What does made mean? Made.、Uh, same word as before.、Mm-hmm. An end? Yes.、Okay. It means until. So, until.、Mm. so what does eda ga tatsu ni wakarete iru tokoro made mean? So, tokoro, let's start right there. What does tokoro mean? Tokoro means place. Exactly. So, until the place where a eda has in a futatsu kind of way, warete iru. So, this is the kind of way ni.、Mm. So, the way in which it warete iru was futatsu. So, in the way the branch split into two, exactly, it stops. Perfect. And now there's this part. What's the next line?、Uh, me, oh, oops. <laughs> me, oh, ah,、uh, crushte, yoku, mirto, mirto, ah,、uh, so coni wa. Chai or Sai Chukute Sai Chukute Sai Chukute 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 Shikakui Kino Kuyagano Kateita. Nice. What does this mean? Meo Koraste Yoko Mirito. So he squinted his eyes to look carefully. Be- beautiful. And soko niwa, so the location where he looked, in other words, 
小さく、小さくて四角い木の小屋が乗っかっていた。What does that mean? 小さくて四角い。So, something small is in the west? あ、うん、あ、四角い。言ってきれば、uh, 西。Which has this kanji. So it does look very similar to、uh, shikakui. But kaku,、uh, do you know what a sankaku is? Sankaku.、Uh, something with three shapes. Yes. Three, three shapes? Three sides. Three, 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 three corners. It, it's, it's three sides in English and in Japanese, it's three corners. Kaku、hmm. means corner.、Uh, so she, kaku. What, what, what number do you think is she? Four. Yon. Yes.、Hi. Which is four. So, four sides or squarish. So, small squarish kinokoya. A small square koya. A small square voice?、Hmm, that's koe. Koe is voice. Koe. Koya. We are koya. Which has small ya. You know what a heya is? A heya is like a room.、Mm-hmm. So, what do you think a koya is then? A house. Exactly. And it's small.、Mm. And it's no kateita, which basically means it is like sitting there. The, the house is over at that location. Those two so, over、there. here, what if, hypothetically, this is chisakute、um, shikaku na? What would that mean? Oof, that was hard to read. What, what would that mean? Or without the na? No, with, with a na here.、Mm. Trying to figure out how to make it readable. What would that mean? What is square? So it's like square ish. You have two options the ki or the koya. The koya. So, right here with na, the thing that is square ish would be the ki. So, na is very aggressive in the glue. This is why we have an e right here. To allow us to attach to the koya.、Hi. So, this is important because way over here, we had okina kashi no shita.、Yeah. So, you see how like, useful that grammar is? <laughs>、mm-hmm. <laughs> like, right next to it. Attached to different bits.、Um, so, this allows this right here to directly attach to kashi and not touch the shita. While this right here is allowing it to skip around that tree to just attach to the koya. Yeah, that's our cool little opposite y thingy. So, e adjectives basically, this right here is another e adjective. They're all connecting down here to the last mentioned item. While na adjectives get directly married to whatever they're touching.、Mm. That's why in Japanese, sometimes they'll turn e adjectives into na adjectives. Because how else am I going to say it's a big tree? I'd have to rephrase the whole sentence and that would be a pain. Just turn it into a nod. Oops. Wait. Yes. <laughs> Hi. So, what does Jack say?、Mm, tree house. Da. Tree house. Jack <laughs> no shinzo ga. Shinzo ga doki doki to dakanata. Nice. So, tree house, the tree house, Jack no Shinzo ga. So, Jack moved forward, I'm guessing、mm-hmm. towards the tree house. So, you're thinking about、like、something else. So, there, there's something around, but shin, shin, Shinzo, what does Shinzo mean? Ah, Uh, kokoro, hearts. So, ね、kokoro. so the to- tokoro is going doki doki doki. A, well, toki doki is、It's、the way takanata. Sadly. Yes. 
So Takanata means to throb, is Shinzo Doki Doki. And what does Annie say? Are wa zettai sekai de chobon chobon? Ichiban. Ichibon. Hai. Ichibon. Takai tsuri house yo to ani. So that is definitely. Mm hmm. Sekai de ichibon. The, guy, the tallest the tallest tree house in the world exactly. said Annie. perfect and what does jack respond that we'll say out loud uh, so she so oops i'm a, i'm the wrong color ah. so we have shiru oh, ah. shiru which became shiranai which became shirana shirana katta that's right there's a little conjugation going on for you what does shiru mean uh to know what does shiranai mean i don't know what does shir shiranakatta mean I didn't know. Exactly. So what does konna tokoro ni triyasu ga atta nante shirenakatta? What is that? Konna tokoro ni You just think of kokoni. Konna tokoro mean basically kokoni. So this place. Yes. The reason why I'm using konna tokoro is that they're <clears> making <throat> it very dramatic. Mm, like that place. Yes. Like such a place right next to my school. I go here back and forth every day. What the heck who? He's flabbergasted. This mm -hmm. the nante right here. It's adding the flabbergasted kind of connotation. I had no <laughs> idea that the free house was over here. She got the oh. didn't know. Wow. So how did he say this? Let's find out. Takwa. <laughs> Kuya o jitto jitto a miyage tamama tsubu yatta. Do you remember Koya? I saw that not that long ago. Koya. So, like a house. Exactly. Is it a big house? A small house. Jitto exactly. house. So, jitto is the way in which he, uh, it doesn't, it just means like, Fixedly, I guess. Uh, what do you think is uh, miyageta means? We got miru miyageta. and ara. The, this nice kanji. Mi plus that guy. What do you think it means? Miyageta. So like on top of your site. Mm, that's a or... really good guess. Um, but it actually means to look upwards. Miyage. Mm. So his neck, as you can see right here, is at an upward angle. And he's doing mm. miyageta. So what do you think mama means then? My hint is nagara. So it's like now. Ima. Basically, it, it means that um, while. So now in the context of where we're reading the, the story. So miyageta mama. So while looking up. Uh, specifically, it means the act of looking at up is unchanged while he does the second action, which is tsubuyaku. Do you know what tsubuyaku means? Tsubuyatta. Hmm. Tsubuyatta. It's a kanji. Does it look a little familiar? It does. Kuchi. Hmm. Hmm. So your mouth. Yes, it has to do with the mouth. So tsubayaku means to mutter. So he mutters mm. it. So he goes, Konna tokoro ni churiyasu ga. <laughs> so he's not actually um, yelling this out. He's just muttering it under his breath while he's staring up at the um, treehouse. So the reason why they're not using nagara is that um, they, they're making it that the most important thing is kind of him looking upwards 
So he's just looking upwards and it just so happens that he starts muttering. While Nagara tends to be more like you're putting your brain to it. So like while skipping, I asked the question. So it just kind of gives him more just like the two items are just happening to occur. If that makes sense. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. About the same. Uh, let's see. Nice. That zoomed in. Um, are you able to see this? Uh, yes. <laughs> um, for this, I think um, we'll just take turns since there's a lot of talking right here. So I'll mm -hmm. um, be first. Dare no treehouse nandaro. I wonder whose treehouse this is. And what does Annie say? Yeah. Oh, ne. Nee. Ne. Nee. So, hey, botte minai. I can't see. <laughs> Do you know what noboru means? No noboru. Noboru. Which means under. <laughs> no border. Uh, does that look like under to you? I don't, it's on top. It's on top, so it's above. Uh, no border means to climb up. There's lots of different kanjis. Uh, this is this is kind of a nice one. No uh, So it means to go upwards. So no botte mitai minai is um kind of like won't you climb up it or don't you? It it, it makes it into a question an inviting question kind of and let's try climbing it so like let's try climbing it but it's like a question so she's like hey do you me together climb up there want to try that mm -hmm. um which is no that's bad who's who, um whose item it is we don't know this so that's why it's dame which is um, whose item it is. We do not know. Then we have to mean that's why it's damida. That's why it's bad. That's why you're not allowed to. Um, and what does Annie respond with? Uh, so, so, okay. so like I can see a bit. Good yeah. idea. So she's actually saying, all I'm going to do is take a little peek. Mm. Choto is like a little bit of looking. And that's what they're saying. A little bit of looking and dake is only. So all I'm going to do is take a peek is how we'd say that in English. Like we use a peek to insinuate the choto miru. So a little look. I'll take a little look, but take a little look sounds weird in English. <laughs> um, and what does the narrator see? What happens? Uh, 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 our nawabashigo. What is important in order to noboru on a nawabashigo? What do you have to do with your hand? You need to nobori hajimeta. So you need to start climbing. So nobori hajimeta means to start climbing. What does tsukande means? It has to do with your hands. To fist up. Yeah. <laughs> to to a uh, grasp. To hold on to. Grab, yeah. <laughs> Which is, that's dangerous. Hurry up, come down. And what happens next? Um, Ani wa iu koto mo kikazu, kikazu, don don no. Nice. <laughs> so right here we have um iu koto mo kikazu. So kiku kikanai became kikazu. Kikanai kikazu. What does kiku mean? 
to, in this case, probably to hair. Yes. And how about kikanai? What does that mean? Contour. Exactly. So what does you uh, koto mo kikazu? What do you think that means? I'll add jaku no you koto mo. Koto. So kikazu. Jack couldn't hear. Mm. Uh, Annie, uh, sorry. Annie, wa no That is our sentence. Where is our subject? Annie. Annie. So, what does the subject do? Does it do the verb? It does. Yes, it does the verb. So Annie is the one not listening. What did she not listen to? Jack no koe oto. Yeah. So Jack's voice. Exactly. Perfect. So now that we got that, uh, what what happened over here? Annie wa yu koto mo kikazu don don nobotte iku. And nobotte is nobori, right over here that we saw before. Noboru. Noboru became nobotte. It's just a conjugation. So he started to dondon. Yes. Is that a sound effect or a... Don Don is a sound effect, yes. Mm -hmm. So Don Don has the meaning of gradually, but a little bit faster than the English meaning of gradually. But it's not fast. It's it's kind of like the speed of like Slender Man, if that makes any sense. Mm. So <laughs> faster than walking, but slower than running. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like that. It's like the idea of something is constantly coming toward you. <laughs> But yeah, it's 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 like it's 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 yeah. So so um yep. So in a don don kind of way. So gradually she climbs up. Um, but so she climbed up uh, without listening to a single thing that Jack was saying, which was abunayo <laughs> oriteroide. Um, and since she stopped listening to him, what happened? Um, yagatte, yagatte, mm. tree house da or tree house ni tadori tsuki suri sururi suri to can't really see the naka. I'm trying to see the naka. Mm. naka ni wa or naka ni hai hai te shimatta. Perfect. So, yagatte is a time phrase. What do you think it means? Yagatte. Uh, well, it doesn't mean now, so maybe yeah. after a bit. It, it's it's kind of like um before long, because she went at dawn dawn, so it wasn't a too super long period of time, but it wasn't instant. You got that. Then we have a knee after tree house. Which knee do you think that is? Uh, directional. Yes, and then they tadori tsuki. You know what that means? Probably the. the it's a pretty common word in Japanese. It means to arrive at. Hmm. So she arrives at the treehouse. Tsururi to is just like don don, and it's a sound effect. And so the way in which she naka ni haite. What does that mean? Naka ni haite. The way she entered. Exactly. Like one inside. Perfect. Was very sudi, so she kind of like slipped in there, basically. So slipped in mm. sudi, kind of the same meaning. And how did Jack feel about that? Uh, oh, well, it's kind of blocked up. I do see Ani. Oh. <laughs> uh, yagatte tsurihasu ni tadori tsuki tsururi to naka ni haite shimatta. So he felt like, oh no, you entered. Oh no, oh no. he actually went in. Ah. <laughs> oh no. 
אני תבוא! It's just אני! Um, and what is our final sentence on this page? Uh, ikura yondemo, yondemo, ani wa oritenai, oritekenai. So, do you know what oridu means? Oridu. Oridu is to go upwards. Or was it to go downwards? Actually, it's not noboru. Noboru is to go upwards. Oridu mm. has this kanji. So, to go downwards. Exactly. So, and then it has konai. Do you remember konai? Konai. Oh, very, very familiar. Um, it is konai. the opposite of kuru. Or the negative form. Kuru, konai. So to go away, kind of. Basically, it means she did not come down. Orite konai. The coming down toward Jack did not occur, is what it means. Poor Sam. Poor, poor, poor Jack. Mm. <laughs> what? Oh, I need to click the done button. <laughs> Hi. And over here. Boop. Hi. Ah, uh, mo ichido yobo to shitan toki. Nice. Aniga three house no madoga rakao 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 o ah dashita. So what does mado mean? Mado means period. Maru, I think, is period because it's that means circle and you can use that to mean the maru marus. It, <laughs> but uh, mado is something that most tatemono have. What is a mado? Uh, oh, oh yeah, I forgot. Window. Hi. Hi. So mado kara. Kao dashta. What is a cow? Kao. Kao. Kao o dashta. So a window has a. Mm, window does not have this. Uh, depending on the context, kara could have that meaning. But cow. What is a cow? Cow. A smile. Uh, close. <laughs> it means. Face? Yep. So mm. the subject here is aniga. So this is Annie's cow. Mm. Uh, like theoretically, it could be madokara, and you could talk about like the curtains, for example. But cow, we, we know in the context that we're talking about Annie's cow, not not the window's cow. We can assume that the window does not have a cow. <laughs> uh, nothing in the grammar is telling us it doesn't, but that would be weird. Um, so, mado kara kao o dashita. What does that mean? Mado kara kao dashita. So, the window. Hmm. And rather yeah. Than... Mado kara kao dashita. So, Annie's face was something on the window. Exactly. Do you know what kara means? It's the opposite kind of a made. So it'd be like, like karai. Soko, soko kara soko made. My mm. favorite illustration of that, which is from here to there. Made. So madoka like, means from the window. Annie's cow dashtad. What does dasu mean? Dasu. Dasu, dasu. Very familiar. Mm -hmm. Do you know what a uh, iriguchi is? Iriguchi is the entrance. How about a deguchi? The exit of an entrance. Yeah, that's dummy. Mm. So an exit. Basically, um, it, in this context, it has a meaning that she stuck her head out of the window. Madu kara kawo dashita. That dasu is one of those weird words that doesn't like translate directly into English. It it has to. It's it's a very interesting word, uh, but we don't need to get into that. Ito ah hi, mo ichido. Wait, 
What does that mean? もう一度 One more time. Exactly. How about よぼうとしたよぼうとしたよぶ became よぼう This is like a whole thing. よぼうとしたよぼうとしたよぼうよぼう Let's start with よぶ Has a super common kuchi in it. Yobu. To open your mouth? No, no. no. Uh, it means to yell. Mm. <laughs> It is different than sakebu that we saw on a different word, sakenda. Sakebu is like a screaming yell. Yobu、um, basically means to call, but a lot of times it'll be like, hey, hello. Sakebu is more like, you know. <laughs> Or some kind of like, ah, kind of sakebu.、Uh, it tends to have a kind of explanation marks. Yobu、uh, doesn't have that connotation. And you can mean to call like your friend, like, oh, konnichiwa, or anything like that. Now, yobu, it can also mean to yell something. So in this case, he's yelling this, but he's not shrieking it. <laughs> you know,、yeah. he's saying, Annie, oi, Annie. This ne, he's yobuing Annie's name、uh, in this context. As、uh, the last page, we have him、uh, way over there being like, Annie Teba. So he's yelling Annie. And、uh, botoshita part of this means to be about to do something. So, mochido yo botoshita toki means the time. Right before he was about to call out Annie once again, Annie stuck her head out of the window of the treehouse. What does Annie yell out?、Uh, There's a lot of books. What did you say? <laughs> And what, what does Annie respond with?、Uh, What does that mean? There's a lot of books that seem interesting. Beautiful. Nice catching that. And what does Jack think?、Uh, eh? 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 So, I want to see the books.、Mm, exactly.、Uh, Honga arenara means if books exist, then mite mitai. I want to see them. Honga arenara. Mite mitai.、Uh, now we have our last sentence. It's a little hard because this guy right here continues over up at the top.、Mm. Uh, Jack wa honas. Hana. Hana. Hanasaki. 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 Made Zuri. Uchita. Mega. Mega ne. Oh. Oshi. Age. Senaka no. Rio. Kiyoki. Mega ne. Hi. Mega ne. Oh. Oshi. Age. Senaka no. Rio. Kiyo. Ryukyu. Ryukyu. This is from the word rucksack in English. Ryukyu. Ryukyu. Rucksack. So you can think backpack when you hear that. Let's continue the sentence way on the other side of the page. Otashika meruto. Yep. Otashika meru. Meruto nawaboshi go. Oh. This was a long. What is a hanasaki? Do you remember? We got hanasaki. A... That kanji reminds me of air and back.、Mm-hmm. So I'm going to draw a little cow right now. So we have Mimi's. Actually, this is Mimi's. We have Mez. We have a Kuchi. What's this thing in the middle of the face? Uh, Hana. Yes, Hana. 
where on the hana is the saki? Saki would be behind the ear, I it's, guess. Uh, the saki is actually the like the the tip of your nose. Saki tends to refer mm. to like tips of things. So like a tip of the pier will be a saki. It'll be like sat. Uh, it's like saki ten or something like that, the kanji, or the, maybe the tip of the sword might use it as well. I don't know, <laughs> but so the tip of the nose is what that means, hanasaki. And something zuri ochita. You know what ochiru means? Ochiru sounds very familiar. Mm -hmm. Um, ochiru. If something furus like ame ga furu, right. it has uh, ochita. So it has kind of dropped, Bell? Ochiru means to drop. Zuri is describing the way in which it dropped. So he has meganes. How would a megane drop to the tip of your nose? Megane ochiru age. We're ignoring ochiru age for now. How would a <coughs> megane, how would glasses, ochiru <coughs> fall to the made, the up to the tip of your nose what how do they fall like what kind of behavior does it does it fall does it like does it like push out this way and go like this down your nose like does it go wah, levitate and then flop straight down it just slides down slides down so zuri ochiru means to slide down hmm. and then so his his glasses in the past we have past tense have slid down his nose he noticing that he decides to oshi age them. So this is osu, which you know, plus ageru. That kanji, osu ageru. What do you think mm -hmm. that means? Osu ageru, oshi ageru. So osu ageru is like fall downwards, osu. Mm, look at the kanji. No, push downwards. Ageru. Look at that kanji. Ageru. Ah. On top, exactly. So like pushing up. on top or upwards. Exactly. To push upwards. Oshiageru. So Jax, his glasses fell all the way down to the tip of his nose, and he pushes it back up. Oshiagete. And then he does a different action that's unrelated to that. He his senaka no yuku. What is that? So there's a backpack on his back. Exactly. He decides to tashikameru, which means basically to check it. He kind of like, I guess, fiddles with it, makes sure the zippers are all zipped up. And after he just double checks his backpack, he decides to nobody hajimeru. What does that mean? Nobody hajimeru. So to start climbing. Exactly. To grabbing the rope and going up. Exactly. Nigite means to grip. Perfect. So boom, that was chapter one. And you read all of it. And it took a a little under two hours. So good job. Your reading has gone up a lot more. And um, I can, you, there's, you can see how much you've improved. <laughs> Hi. You definitely understood. Yeah, I thought this would take over uh, the, uh, the hour time. Uh, but this was like, I was like, let's see if we can just get it all done. And it was perfect. <laughs> So yeah, so now we're done with chapter one and next is gonna be chapter two. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll stop the recording then.